So there are quite a lot of similarities between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S. They both have the same screen resolution and they both have two gigabytes of RAM, but one has the Apple A10 Fusion and one has the Apple A9. So how do these two devices do against each other in Speedtest G? Well, let's find out. So we have the iPhone 7 with the Apple A10 Fusion on the left hand side, that's a 2016 device. And we have the iPhone 6S with the Apple A9 from 2015 on the right hand side. And already we can see a lead being built up by the iPhone 7. It's gone through the cryptography test, it's now into the SQL light test. And only now is the iPhone 6 going into the SQL light test. Now of course we would expect the iPhone 7 to be faster than the iPhone 6S, but it will be interesting to see by how much. And of course it's interesting that the Apple a10 Fusion and the Apple A9 R2, very different processes and we'll talk more about that in a moment as we are now seeing the compression test going on on the left hand side whereas on the iPhone 6S it's a whole test behind, it's only now going into the JSON test, it's now about to start the compression test while the iPhone 7 has gone into the 16 thread test. Now I was saying about the differences, this is a quad core processor so it should be able to handle the 16 threads just a little bit better, however there is a twist, the A10 Fusion although it is a quad core it's Fusion because it's using two big cores and two little cores, two more power efficient cores, but it can only use one set or the other at any one time. It can't use all four at the same time. So we don't see a blistering, look at the growth rate there. We don't see a blistering difference there in that 16 thread test. However, we are still definitely in the lead on the iPhone 7. It's now gone into that blur test, which marks the beginning of the mixed CPU GPU part of this test run. And the dual core Apple A9 is still making its way through that 16 thread test. So the infinite scrolling list is now going on on the left hand side. We're going to see the smoke particle test. Be interesting to see what the frame rate is. Remember there's the same resolution on both of these devices. 23 frames a second. That's 22 frames a second there. As it now goes into that final UG test, we will see the smoke particle test on the right hand side soon, but not quite yet because it is still a bit behind. This is quite a lead. In fact, that the iPhone 7 has now as it comes into the UG test down to that valley, turn to the right. When we get to the end of the valley, we'll have the final time. What's it going to be where we go here it comes one minute 57.3 while the iphone 6s is now going into the smoke particle test we'll see what the difference in the frame rate is here when it comes up any moment now where's it going to be there is 17 frames a second, so quite a difference remembering same screen resolution on both of these as we now go into the UG test. So clearly the Apple A10 Fusion, the better processor, same amount of RAM, same screen resolution, quad core versus dual core, but of course it can only use two sets of those cores at the same time. However, clearly a significant lead here over the Apple A9. And now we're gonna turn right, come to the end of the valley. Let's see what the final time is here. There we go, two minutes and 36.5. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. So clearly the iPhone 7 won overall with a final time of one minute 57.3 and then 39.2 seconds later came in the iPhone 6S two minutes 36.5. So where did all those seconds difference come from? Look at the CPU, 71 seconds versus 97 seconds, 26 seconds difference between the Apple A9 and the Apple A10 Fusion, a remarkable feat there. When you get into the mix CPU, GPU, 27.5 versus 36.5, which gives us a difference of nine seconds there. And then when you get into the GPU, the same Unity test, the same code run on both devices, the same screen resolution, 18.7 versus 23, giving a 4.3 second difference between those two devices. So you add up all those differences and the iPhone 7 with the A10 Fusion came in first, one minute 57.3. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you like doing things on Twitter, there is a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.